Hi guys, Wuzi here from African Technopreneurs and uh, me and the team are here at New Reality and we'll be shooting a comparison video between the Microsoft HoloLens 1 and the HoloLens 2. So let's get into it. So for all those who don't know what the HoloLens is, it's Microsoft's version of a mixed reality headset. What is mixed reality? So if you know the Edith glasses in the Marvel movies and then you know the Oculus Quest, then think of this as a mesh between those two things. Right off the bat, I think the first thing you guys would like to see is the design. What are the differences between the first HoloLens and the second HoloLens? So, so as you can see, it's got this futuristic design with the visors. It looks like something you would find in an old uh, 70s film. Cool. And then you compare it to the HoloLens 2 with a totally different design. So if you notice, what they've done is they've given it a more slick band, moved the battery to the back to help, so it, help it balance, and improved the visor that it moves up and down. So guys, you might be wondering, how do you use the HoloLens? I didn't show you any controllers. So with the previous HoloLens or the first HoloLens, you actually had this small Nyana controller which you use to navigate between little apps um, back and forth and also hand tracking. But because the field of view wasn't so great, it seemed a little gimmicky at the time. Um, but jump forward three years, HoloLens 2, um, with the better field of view, you don't have those same issues. So it doesn't have a little controller, you actually just use your hands, it uses gesture control, hand tracking, and also voice um, activation. So we kind of solved a lot of the issues that it was facing in the first iteration of this. For now, so we're going to do an in-depth look of how the HoloLens 1 looks when you have it on your head and how it feels. So let me just adjust the headset. Okay, it's a bit of a tight squeeze. I think I have a big head. So this is how it looks. Okay, I think I've got it comfortably secured on my head. Um, but I can also, I also feel like it's, okay, I think, yeah, that was bad. I just needed to adjust it a little bit. Okay. Okay, yeah. Okay. Um, it's not a super comfortable fit. Um, it feels a bit too, like, rugged, stiff-ish. Um, but also, it also gives me the impression that it could kind of fall off at any moment. You know, it doesn't give me that secure fit. I'm ready to, to work. Um, and then also this, uh, this battery strip around here and the microphones, I, I kind of get what they were trying to do, trying to give it me a more futuristic look, but also kind of securing the head. Um, yeah, it's not a bad look, but I think it could have been done better. So let me just get this off and then let's try the HoloLens 2. Okay. Just, just this. Okay. Right off the bat, this is way easier to put on. It's a way more secure fit. I don't have to even adjust too much. Um, I like the fact that the visor can actually move up and down. So I think that also allows me um, the field of view to be a bit better. And then also it doesn't um, um, mist up as much. So I think that's also a nice thing. I like what they did with the whole strap here. It gives my head the whole secure feel. I don't have to worry about it falling. I feel like I can actually even run with this. So yeah, it's not too bad. I think one thing I haven't seen though is the speakers. Oh, they actually line the speakers right here into the headset and also down here. Um, yeah, I think those are the major upgrades when it comes to design between. You're probably wondering, whoa, what are you seeing? So right now, you're looking at the menu and I'm doing a screen recording. So I'm actually gonna show you just some of the apps that you can actually experience on the HoloLens. So one of them that I'll be looking at is the MRTK Example Hub. This is basically gonna be showing you some of the cool stuff that you can actually do with HoloLens. Um, using MRTK. MRTK is a mixed reality toolkit that allows you to um, to interact with uh, to interact and also to build apps where you'll be able to interact with the real world using the HoloLens. 
This is all software provided by Microsoft. Sure, so I just clicked on some examples. If you can see right in front of you, you can see um, the HoloLens 2 style cup. And if you can see, I'm actually dragging it left and right. I'm using my hands. I'm not using any controllers, anything around. You can see there's actually multiple ones. Here's generation one style. You can notice moving up and down. Put it down. I'm grabbing another one. You can see. And this is all happening in real space. I could actually resize them, scale them up and down, depending on what I feel like. This is all happening right before your eyes. And this is the power of mixed reality. So it actually brings together the virtual and the physical together. So right now there's no physical, but the physical is the world, the world around me. The swimming pool, the grass, the deck, the umbrellas, the trees, the world around me. And then the digital would be these cups that are in front of me that I'm able to scale up and to act with. Let me just try to get it a little bit bigger, scale it a little bit bigger. I hope you guys can see the frame. Scaling it up. I'm able to touch it, move it left and right, up and down. So this is basically interacting with my physical plane. So if I move around and I move here, you see that there's nothing here. But if I go back to that specific place, it, can, it remembers that I have left objects here. So that's actually one of the features of, the, uh, of SAM, or, maybe, or MRTK, that allows you to do that. Sure, so now, we'll, now, now that comes to the end of the demo. My final thoughts on side-by-side uh, -side comparison between the HoloLens 1 and the HoloLens 2. The HoloLens 1 was a great first attempt at Microsoft's um, mixed reality headset. All the things that let it down, Microsoft was actually able to improve them. Um, so primarily comfort. So by actually changing the design and moving the battery to the back, they were able to evenly distribute the weights. And then also improving the visor, allowing it to flip up and down. That was a game changer. And then just improving the field of view. Those extra, uh, those extra 20 degrees actually go a long way. So my final thoughts that the HoloLens 2 is the way forward when it comes to mixed, uh, mixed reality headsets. I can't wait for the HoloLens 3 or whatever Microsoft has installed for the VR community or mixed reality community. We've reached the end of our video. Stay tuned, like and subscribe, hit the notification button so you can stay up to date with the latest videos. Shout out to New Reality for the dope studios. Can't wait to shoot more content. All the products we've mentioned are in the description. Follow us on uh, social media, Instagram, Twitter, at African Techno. Uh, shout out to 180 by 2 for all the products. Can't wait to shoot more videos.